In the world of infrastructure monitoring, the bane of every IT manager's existence is handling unimportant events. Countless hours can be spent sorting through a flood of unactionable events only to find the one event that matters. So at ScienceLogic, we've taken a four-tier approach to event suppression. This ensures that your IT team only focuses on the events that matter, driving efficiency, and opening up their time to take on forward-looking projects. The first part of our four-tier approach is simply disabling a series of alerts on unimportant events. The user simply filters by technology and event type, and then selects Disable. The second approach is event suppression based on parent-child relationships. A great example is VMware, where an ESXi host goes down, and all the alerts coming from the VMs associated with that ESXi host are suppressed. We can also do the same with topologies like CDP. In this example, we're actually looking at CDP. We're doing suppression based upon the proximity of the ScienceLogic collector. We see that the router has a down network interface, which should be connecting it to the other device. The availability alerts to all the devices on the right-hand side of the screen are suppressed. Further, we note that we've suppressed over 100 availability alerts and only displayed one. The third approach is alert suppression for groups of elements or devices. We set rules within the platform, and as devices meet those rules, they are automatically added to logical grouping. In this case, we are selecting the group by IP address and subnet range and organization name. If a device belongs to that organization, and it is in that subnet range, it will be added to that group. Then you simply add this device group as one of the suppression rules associated with a particular event you want suppressed. Lastly, we allow you to set advanced rules so you can delay scheduling an event until it occurs a set number of times within a specific time window. Further, you can set weights for each event so that if multiple events happen at once, the most important one is logged with the others suppressed. So if you want to see an event suppression in action, please visit www.sciencelogic.com and register for a no-obligation demo. Thanks.